Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra, why this? Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Samsung is planning for the next year as well, but this is going to be a bit sad news for the individuals who don't like Samsung's Exynos chipset lineup. So according to a recent rumor from a leaker over on X, at the current stage of development, Samsung is planning to use its Exynos socks for the entire Galaxy S25 line, and that's all the models available in every nation on the planet. Well, we assume that the chipset will be the yet to announce Exynos 2500. However, the entry-level and mid-range Galaxy A series will have a combination of Mediatek and Samsung socks in 2025, while the Galaxy C Fold 7 and Galaxy C Flip 7 will only use Qualcomm Snapdragon chipset. Since none of these devices has been confirmed by any other source, rumor or not, we would advise you to proceed with extreme caution when it comes to this one, especially given how far away from launch it is. Remember Remember that we are still in the dark about the precise capabilities of the Exynos 2500, even if everything described above proves to be accurate, will it eventually outpace the Snapdragon 8 series? Don't rule it out entirely. We've seen stranger things in this mobile world before. However, if that does occur, why will the foldables be punished for adopting Snapdragon? We can't say that this kind of approach makes a lot of sense, but we could also say the same thing about the Galaxy S24 family's current Exynos Snapdragon split. In addition to that piece of news, the Samsung Galaxy A55 and A35 event scheduled for March 11th is just one week away. Official photos and leaked renders for both have already been shown to us, but leaker Evan Blast has now released additional official photos. Except for the key island, the elevated area encircling the power and volume keys, and the A3UX model's new punch hole, rather than not, the two models are fairly difficult to distinguish from one another. However, the A55 and A35 have have the same appearance. A pair of photos that compare the two phones' as cameras are quite helpful. A 5MP macro module is located beneath the 50MP primary cameras in the middle of both. Nevertheless, the Galaxy A55 boasts a 12MP ultra-wide and a 32MP selfie, which is more resolution than the 8MP ultra-wide and the 13MP selfie. Like the A54 and A34 before them, both phones should have 5,000 milliampere batteries that can be charged at 25 watt. Regarding the displays, the Galaxy A55 will have 6.5 inch and 6.6 inch FHD plus AMOLED panels with a refresh rate of 120 Hz, making it slightly larger than the A35, but still smaller than the former. Here's a final look at the four colorways that will be offered. We're not quite sure which photos are for the Galaxy A55 or A35 because they look so similar. The top row appears to be from the A55 because of the sides more brushed metal appearance. Well, the A54 and A34 both had plastic frame, though the A54 had a glass back and the A34 had a plastic back, which may indicate that the two models were made of different material. In fact, according to one report, the Galaxy A55 will soon have a metal frame. That said, let me end the discussion for today. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below as well. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.